welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it, but my birch box and my Ipsy came on the exact same day so early in the month. That literally never happened. I can't believe it. So I'm going to unbox them for you today. I'm going to do just my Ipsy in this video and then in the next video I will do my birch box and then I will compare the two. Last month I didn't end up filming my birch box unboxing. I did end up getting it but it was like the day before we left for Toronto and it was just kind of crazy and I thought you know what let me just open this. Let me see if there's anything that I want to take on vacation with me and yeah it was a good box. Nothing like totally crazy or you know totally different but yeah let's jump in to this month's ipsy bag all right so this month we do have the normal pink bag thank you to everyone who told me what the gold bag meant i got the gold bag last month right or is that two months ago i can't remember anyway i'm gonna leave all the little cards and stuff in the bag although i do feel an actual product in here another mask ipsy loving their masks Oh, cute! Oh my goodness! Okay, here's the bag this month. It is a textured, almost, it looks studded, it's not. A textured black pleather bag. I am obsessed with this. It is so cute with a gold zipper and this little faux leather hardware. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Now this is definitely one of those types of bags that you can keep in your normal everyday bag and no one will even blink an eye because it looks so, so cute love let's see what we have inside the first little guy that i'm pulling out oh so weird are these hanalei papaya enzyme powder cleansers so they look like little samples that you can pour into water or juice and use as a bit of a supplement that's really cool and super different for ipsy i feel like i've never maybe like a long time ago i got some sort of like green mix in my ipsy bag but this is really different Really cool. I'm excited to give that a try. This is, oh, the um, the theme is like a boss. I just got a little little card in there. Next product is, what do we have? Ooh, cool. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Radiance with Hyaluronic Acid. I am the biggest fan of hyaluronic acid. It makes such a difference on my skin. Just totally plumps everything up. This looks really cute. So it's a primer, which I, like, honestly, I haven't been using a lot of primers lately. But... Oh, pretty. It reminds me of almost like a liquid highlight. So it's like a very pink, pinky gold toned primer, I guess, that you could use under your foundation. But to me, it really does look like a highlight, something that I would put on my cheeks to just add a little bit of shine. So cute. Next thing, pulling on out, a brush. A Luxe brush from Luxie Beauty or sorry, a Luxie brush from Luxie Beauty, and this is the medium angled shading brush, number 207. I can always use more eyeshadow brushes, although I do tend to like just use the same eyeshadow brushes all the time, but I love the brushes I've been getting in my Ipsy. They're always so cute. This one's pink with like a really dark copper um, piece up by the brush. Really pretty. Excited to try that out. Next product, whoa, dirty little secret. I don't know what this is, Lip gloss, full size. That's exciting. All right, let's open this guy up. I've never heard of the brand Dirty Little Secret, but let's see what the lip gloss looks like. Oh, pretty! Oh, how cute. The packaging is really adorable with all these little dots. The color is Nude Beach, which, thank goodness, if I got another dark purple, like dark, dark berry color, I would... <laughs> Just lose it because I feel like in all my boxes I get dark berry tones. This is really beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful nude color with some gold little specks in it. So stunning. Whoa, it has a very heavy vanilla scent, which I guess I don't mind totally, but it does, the smell is very overpowering. Gorgeous color. Yeah, really beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of a MAC gloss that I have. Can't remember the name, but same like really pretty nude color with some gold flecks. That's gorgeous. And it's full size. So that's, oh, everything's falling off my lap. So that's everything that was in my Ipsy bag. But I know there's another thing in this little satchel. Okay, everything's on the floor. We're just going to leave it. What do we have here? This is the Lily Whitening and Brightening Main Fit. Okay, sorry. The brand is Man Manifit. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Beauty Planner Mask. And it is the Lily Whitening and Brightening Mask. Sheet Mask. Cute. And it, clearly it's either, where was this made? Either Japanese or Korean. 
Definitely a different language back there. Really cool. So, so different. I love this. So apparently it's a contour sheet mask that is soaked in essence that instantly cools and smooths stressed or soothes stressed and tired skin on contact. Really neat. I'm excited to give this a go. I love sheet masks. I think they're so easy. What else do we have? Oh, we have another one. Exciting. This is the Mugwort Astrogent and Pore Care Mask. I can't say that I've ever heard of the word mugwort, and I can't say that that's like the cutest name in the world, but awesome. I'm sure mugwort is some sort of like plant or essence or extract that is really good for your skin. Nice. Apparently this mask makes the skin clear, helping skin astringent and poor care. Nice. I'm excited to try this brand too. The packaging is really cute, really chic and modern. So that's everything that was in my Ipsy. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed with this month's Ipsy, especially the bag. I feel like I really like lucked out with just the bag in general. Like if they just sent me this, I'd be happy. Cause how adorable is this? Like it's just such a great little makeup bag that again, you can throw in your purse and no one would think otherwise. I love all the little, I'm looking down at the floor cause everything's on the floor. I love everything that I got this month, especially I'm excited to try out the lip gloss, the masks. Yeah, I just like that it was different, especially with the Hanalei stuck Hanalei enzyme powder. So guys, that's my September Ipsy bag. Leave me a comment down below if you subscribe to Ipsy. Let me know if you got similar items or if you got something totally different. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you all really soon. Bye guys.